I think uh, a region as diverse as uh, Asia Pacific or specifically Southeast Asia in my, in my context is, is really around the new industries for the people. And I think in that sense, you're really looking at areas such as circular bioeconomy or circular economy as being the major drivers. Uh, but on top of that, the need uh, to take climate action is also one that is driving coherently uh, or, or prominently in all of the Asian countries. So I think in, in that sense, uh, in, in, in final uh, way of looking at it, the world has headed towards a similar trajectory you know, uh, in terms of um, bioeconomy, in terms of uh, areas such as food security, in terms of areas such as self-sufficiency for the people. So I think uh, in that sense, uh, that is one of the major drivers for bioeconomy in the region. Well, I, I won't say that something specific just to Asia, but I think we are following very closely uh, to the, the innovation and the bio-innovation movements globally. Uh, we subscribe very heavily to influence for, uh, from the EU when it comes to resource optimization. Uh, areas I, I mentioned earlier on circularity, um, it, it does provide us with that avenue to then create uh, concepts such as biorefineries. Uh, that are able to produce multiple products from a single source. Uh, things such as sustainable aviation fuels, liquid fuels, uh, sustainable uh, building materials products. You know, these are kind of things that we are now looking uh, very closely at. Um, in Malaysia, like like uh, like we've mentioned uh, in past conversations, we, we really is moving forward with uh, you know uh, areas on sustainability, uh, areas such as the net uh, carbon zero. Uh, pledges that we have, um, we have set up, you know, uh, different roadmaps in terms of uh, transition uh, from different energy sources like uh, bioenergy, biomass, uh, but all of which are basically covering uh, areas that are very close to climate action. So, uh, with that, I, I won't say necessarily a, a single component of a bio innovation. I think it's a, a innovation in terms of biotechnology, but also the change and shift in mindset which to me is the larger piece of innovation.